Welcome to the Multifamily and Supportive Housing Lending Portal. In this video, we are going to show you how to start a new application. In the upper left hand corner, click on the menu option for new application. The first step in starting a new application is to choose a project type. Select from the drop down the project type that best fits your application. Multifamily UniApp Permanent, Multifamily UniApp Construction and Permanent, Multifamily Conduit Permanent, Multifamily Conduit Construction and Permanent, Special Needs Permanent Only, and Special Needs Construction and Permanent. Select one to get started. The next step is to enter the ownership tax ID of the ownership entity for your project. To select programs to apply for, click on the edit pencil at the bottom of the list in the bubble available programs. Clicking on this edit pencil will open up the screen and allow you to choose which program and what type of financing that you are applying for. Something must be selected from this list and everything you intend to apply for also must be selected now. If you have not selected all of your programs, you will have to cancel your application and start over. So please make sure that you have reviewed this list at this point in the process and that you have selected all the programs that you need. Save your selections with the green check mark. Once you have all of your selections checked in the Available Programs bubble, click on the Continue button. The system will now check the tax ID number that you have entered. If there's already an application started for this tax ID number, you will be referred back to that application. If this is a new tax ID number, you will be assigned a project number automatically and it will appear on the top of the next screen called Project Instructions. The Project Instructions screen contains a lot of information from your NJHMFA staff. It contains the link to send them an email. It also contains an instructional download for the new Form 10. It also has more details on navigating this application portal an overview of the entire process. There's a document checklist here so that you know what documents are required for the project type you selected. And there are other really important navigational items here at the bottom of the list. So make sure you scroll all the way down and that you familiarize yourself with all of these items before continuing. We will be going over some of these in our training video series, but this checklist is very important when you've completed reviewing the instructions here, press the continue button. The next screen will be the project import screen. The project import screen has your new project number at the top. Please make a note of this number as you're going to need it later when you log back into the portal and search for this application. At this point in the process, we'd like you to just download the underwriting template from here for the project type that you chose on the first screen. You can come back to this screen later to upload it once you have finished filling out the new Form 10. There will be another video strictly about the new Form 10, so from right here we just want you to download your new template and continue. The Modify Project screen contains the project address and the owner address. All of the fields with a star next to them are required and this screen will error if you don't fill them all out. So please take time to give us as much of this information as possible as it will be submitted along with your application. When you are done filling out this screen you may hit the continue button. Here is what a completed screen should look like. It has all the information requested populated. So I'm going to have the project address, a contact for the project, an email for the project along with an email for the contact. Please check the use paperless delivery option 
as emailing will be very important in this new process that we be able to send emails to these contacts. The project summary section is the narrative of your project. This is quite a large box and cut and pasting uh, does apply here and this box will expand if you cut and paste a large amount of narrative. So put the narrative for your project here. And then on the owner side, this is the ownership entity of the project and the owner contact name. And again, emails for the ownership entity as well as the main contact at that ownership entity. There is another text box here for previous experience or any other relative information about the ownership entity. And again, cut and pasting works in this box as well. When you have finished inputting this information, press the continue button. This brings us to the project detail screen. This is simply a summary screen of what you have done so far. It has our ownership entity, our application status, it has any fees that are due uh, for the application process, and our finance layers or all the different programs that we originally selected for this project. Another note about the project detail screen. This is the screen you will be brought to after you have completed the first section of application screens. From now on when you log in, you will be able to select this project number and you will come directly to this screen where you can go back to the project import and upload your Form 10. You can go back to the forms and download anything you need there. And you can go back to your document screen and upload required documents. All the documents are required as well as payment of the application fee before you will be able to click the submit button at the bottom of this screen. The project form screens contains a copy of the UniApp. This is a blank form that you can download here. It also contains your application fee wiring instructions. There is a whole nother video on paying your application fee. So please watch that video and here is where you would download your wiring instructions. If I go back, I will land back on the project details screen. The project document screen also has a list of all of my required documents. Some documents are required for the project type I chose while others are required for additional program funding. There is an entire video on forms and documents that will go over this screen in more detail. If I choose the back button, it always takes me back to my project detail screen. The submit button at the bottom of the screen will be doing some auditing of your application. So please don't click it until you have submitted all of your documentation and paid your application fees. There are additional training videos on how to submit your Form 10 as well as how to pay your application fees. So please review all the training videos before you hit your submit button. That is the end of this training video on starting a new application and I encourage you to watch the remaining videos as we go into more detail on specific topics like forms, documents, fees, and submission.